All right, welcome everybody to the second live stream of the LifeWave Lifestyle Spiritual Team here, Team Spirit. And Dr. Pat and myself were here last week, and today we're so excited to have our, our friend as our guest, and that's Kyrene. And we are going to, some people asked about the Ayurveda in more detail, so we're going to start there. And then we will talk with Kyrene about her experience with the LifeWave patches. And then we'll just talk about the science to wrap up the hour. So, Dr. Pat, uh, some people wanted to know more about the distinction of the constitutions. And I thought we could start with the air constitution and I could talk about from the air point of view and then you could explain it from the medical western point of view okay. how does that sound we're still getting a little feedback someplace okay uh, let's see anyway uh, we have to start off by saying there are three major constitutions of the body ayurveda refers to the testoceans or forces but we we're going to refer to them as constitutions I make up of your body, let's put it that way, your natural constitution. Now, it's called body and kapha. But this all harkens back to embryology. <laughs> I hate to bring up science, but that's where it comes from. See, after fertilization of the egg, when you're born, but, but actually before you're born, when you're developing utero, all these cells come together and they form a cyst called the blastocyst. And then it forms a gastric, it's an invagination. It's like if you took a tennis ball and with a hole in it and you push up one end and you get two layers on each side. The outer layer is the ectoderm, the inner layer is the endoderm, and the upper layer is the endoderm. Anyway, all the tissues and organs of the body come from these three basic germ layers. Developed. Now, it depends which one of those germ layers predominates during your development. If the ectoderm predominates, you become an ectomorph, body constitution of any size, thin, usually tall, very short. And we equate that body constitution with vata air person. If the endoderm predominates, it produces all the tissues in the body, all the organs in the body. And that's the endoderm. And people whose endoderm predominates during maturation become endomorphs or heavier, kapha people. And in the middle is a, a layer that forms the mesoderm between the two. Like meso meso, it's between, neither here nor there. <laughs> and that forms like the muscle layers. So, all three of these layers are very, very important to make up our body, our tissues, our organs. But one may predominate. Now, we're not all one, all three develop. Swamiji would know. Uh, we're not all bada, pitta, kapha. We're not all mechloderm, endoderm, mesoderm. We're a combination. But one, if one predominates, then that person tends to develop that kind of body constitution. So if the ectoderm predominates, the ectoderm has to do coverings and linings of the body. It also produces the nervous system, extremely important, the nervous system. So when this constitution develops, people tend to be tall and very active. The sympathetic nervous system predominates in these people. Uh, my neighbor I used to watch all the time, run out and get the mail, he's tall, he's thin, he used to run, grab the mail, move back in, and he's always on the move. 
I went to school, high school, who was in body type person, hair constitution. And he used to bring sandwiches. He used to bring so much food for lunch. And he was skinny. How does he do it? Well, of course, he has a very, very active sympathetic nervous system. He's on the go. He burns up those calories. So uh, I don't know, Swami G, do you want to add anything to that? Or Okay, I was muted, so I thought that might help me. <laughs> If you guys want to unmute for a little while, see if that stops the echo. Um, yeah. Okay. So I don't think it's helping. <laughs> All right. So the the I, that was a wonderful bridge between Eastern and Western view of the same thing using different words. So thank you for that. The sympathetic nervous system connecting to ectomorph, connecting to air, which is called vata. So the air people, when we talk about an illness, and, and let me just start by saying, Dr. Conti is a, is a medical doctor, but he's not your doctor. I'm a, a doctor of science. That's not even a medical doctor. And Karen is a, a doctor of love, so, but she's not a medical doctor. We're not giving advice, medical advice. We're not trying to treat, diagnose, cure any disease. What you learn here is for entertainment purposes and education purposes only. Talk to your own healthcare professionals, practitioners, if you have any questions about what we share today. Okay, so with that in mind, the air constitution, if we talk about how does, how does this relate to me, okay? What, why do I care about being an air, fire, or water person? And the answer is that Ayurveda says illness is due to an imbalance, either an excess or a deficiency of these elements, air, fire, and water. So starting with the ectomorph, the air person, air people tend to have health conditions of too much air, which would be dry skin, uh, gas, uh, air in the head, maybe air people jokingly around will say air, air brain, air head, something like that. Too much air in the body. And that's not the case for fire people or for water people. They would have fire people would tend to have more of what they are, more fire. Water people would have more of what they have, water. And when you, when an air person has dry skin or gas or whatever, and they follow the therapies, whether they're foods or herbs or lifestyle, that reduce the air, that's called health. It's a dynamic balance. It changes at any moment. So to, if we, today we could just start very briefly with the air. I'll talk about the basics and then Dr. Conti will explain the, the scientific the medical side of it. So if an air, what causes an air person to get sick in terms of food? Anything that's dry or cold which are the things that air people have too much of is going to create more air. So if you have chips, potato chips, popcorn, uh, burnt toast, just all dried out with no butter or anything on it, uh, raw foods, all of these are cold and dry and they will aggravate the air person to get gas, constipation, dry skin, nervousness, worry. So, Doc, how would that, how would you explain that from a, what's going on in, in the air person? Um, well, the cold is one of the manifestations of these air people, Vata people, Ectoporphal people. One of the things is, is that they have less subcutaneous fat, subcutaneous fat on your skin. It provides for some insulation to the body. Now, the um, I, I keep thinking about, I told the story today, I had to get blood work done. And I was telling the girl that drew my blood. When I was first started out, uh, 
drawing blood on patients. I was a little nervous. And I went to one patient who was tall, lanky. I put the tourniquet on and the veins popped out all over. I said, oh, this will be easy. I put the needle in, put the needle in here, and the vein went here. What's going on here? Did it again, and the vein went here, off to the side. The patient had very little subcutaneous fat. So the vein was moving all over under the skin. So you got to be, you have to hold down, you have to sit on the vein, put the needle in, steady it. And that's the reason, and this is what happens when we get older, like me. Uh, older people tend to move to Florida. Why? Because we lose our subcutaneous fat. <laughs> we don't have that insulation that we had when we were young. So everyone moves to Florida. Some people say that that's not the way to I don't like to put it that way, but it's no <laughs> way to look at it. So the, the Kafa people have very thick subcutaneous tissue, and the meso, mesomorphic people, the fire people, somewhere in the middle. Now, the, uh, the, the reason why people tend to be cold, we say that because they have less digestive juices. We call it the Agni ignition, ignite the fire in the stomach, the acids, hydrochloric acid. So they have less of that. It's more difficult for them to break down certain foods like protein. Uh, they, because they tend to be dry, the juices tend to be less. So what we recommend is that they have a diet, not of raw vegetables, but they should really cook the vegetables, boil the vegetables, make it a little lot easier to digest. That's, uh, that's another thing. So digestion plays a very, very important role in Ayurveda. And we can talk for hours about digestion and various uh, doshic people, constitutions. But that thing is with uh, a lot of people, they have less hydrochloric acid to break down the protein. You need the acid to start breaking down the protein. Mm. And then you need secretion of pepsinogen converted to pepsin to act on the, the meat. So a lot of people are better off being vegans, vegetarians. Uh, sure, they can have a little bit of meat, but not in excess for meat because it's be more difficult for them to digest the, the protein. I don't know if I answered your question. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it's really good because we were taught in Ayurveda that when you eat air foods, it creates wind, which blows out the minimal digestifier. Yes, something else and, I just thought about. And so it's what we would say from what you're saying is that the digestifier is the hydrochloric acid. And the wind would be that which dampens it in some way. It's like throwing a log on the fire. Yeah. What also happens is because of there's a paucity of the digestive enzymes and hydrochloric acid, one of the major causes of diseases we, we in our way we say is indigestion. It's not so much indigestion, it's poorly di poor digestion produces ama. Well, in the stomach, because the foods are not properly digested. The protein develops, undergoes a process called putrefaction. And that produces toxins, it produces gas. The hydro, uh, carbohydrates, if they are not properly digested, it's going to produce fermentation. It also produces a lot of gas. So <laughs> there's a lot of basic science that backs up Ayurveda. You just have to pull it out. Awesome. I think that's a wonderful introduction. Uh, bridging, that's not probably the clearest conversation I ever had, bridging the East-West Ayurvedic gap. And even Karin is 
nodding her head like it sounded like she was getting that. Was that clear to you as a as a lay person? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So then next time we'll pick up and we'll discuss the the fire person and how we'll we'll draw the bridge over there as well. And so what we'll want to do now is the idea, as we said the first time of this, of this live stream, is to integrate the wonderful life wave patches, which are related to stem cell activation, the master cell. And to support that, we want to have healthy lifestyles. There are people who had wonderful, magical transformations in their health from the life wave patch. They felt so good. They said, oh, now I'm going to go back and eat the junk food I used to eat. And they got sick again. So we need a healthy lifestyle. And Ayurveda is just about the best. I mean, there's nothing fits everybody, but it fits almost everybody. And so we want to share that so people can have a healthier lifestyle as while they discover the life wave, the light therapy, and the stem cell therapy. So that's the point of this. And we're, that's why we're starting with Ayurveda. We now wanted to share, introduce you to our dear friend, Kyrin, and she's going to uh, talk about her experiences. All, all three of us are very new to the life wave patches. And yet, all three of us have our own unique and simul similar experiences. And Dr. Pat and I shared ours last week. And we want to welcome Kyrin now. And Kyrin, welcome. Tell us uh, what you do for a living now. What do you and and how um, how you came to LifeWave? Oh, hello. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good night, depending <laughs> on where you are in this world. Um, I got introduced to um, LifeWave by uh, Swami, and uh, he had called me very, very enthusiastically one day and saying, I have this amazing uh, patch that you would just love, based on the fact that your work is in metaphysics. So again, my name is uh, Karine Huber, and uh, I'm a life coach and um spiritual enhancement counselor and what i do and what i offer the world is opening the door to anyone that is interested in finding out who and what they are and getting to that place of self-realization uh the most uh, healthy positive and um uplifting way possible so when swami told me about uh, life wave patches I was so enthusiastic because it spoke a language to me that said I will further enhance and help your process in moving to the this fifth dimensional energy that we are all living in right now so the patch in and of itself as I was given to understand by research, by videos, by podcasts, by listening to those that are uh, attached to an affiliated um, hierarchy of this company, I was led to believe and I was so in very, very enthusiastically excited about the fact that the patch in and of itself has nothing in it but, uh, you know, um, crystalline, uh, you know, ultraviolet energy that is ignited once it contacts your body. So it is your body's energy that will ignite and help grow your stem cells, which will enhance your performance in life, health performance. As Swami says, I have had um, several family, friends, clients, uh, colleagues that introduced to the life wave patches and I've had various comments from them basing from I don't feel anything uh, I just continue to feel good and these are from folks that have a good lifestyle they eat well they exercise they sleep well so therefore it's just further supporting and enhancing 
uh, what they are doing already. Now, those that have had um, health challenges and, and those that have felt, well, you know, um, I've dealt with several that have been feeling very um, depressed lately. Depression seems to be running rampant in our world today based on the lifestyle of our illusionary, uh, you know, third dimensional world living. Uh, it has helped, especially one client, uh, immensely. She was really feeling more confident in herself. She did not feel that um, the suicidal thoughts that she was getting was predominating now, and she was more balanced. So it has helped her in that sense where she was addressing a certain issue uh, with this particular person. So it varies with everybody. And uh, with myself, I felt um, energized. Uh, I feel a better quality of sleep. Uh, so overall, there was not any major changes because like both of you incredible uh, gentlemen, uh, I try to um, work with um, my diet, work with, uh, you know, um, what uh, not only what I eat, but what I enjoy eating and how I um, incorporate that into exercise and meditation, which is a very, very important, uh, you know, component in our life today. Meditation is a must for everybody in order to embrace who and what we truly are. And the um, life patch, uh, it helps with you being in a place where you are more receptive and you go into for me, a deeper meditation. Mm. So it's been um, it's been an incredible last uh, three months because that's the length of time uh, that I've been uh, on the patch and uh, I've been using the patches uh, consistently, 12 hours on, 12 hours off, and, uh, you know, having um, all family and friends, encouraging folks, calling and checking up on how do you feel? How does this work for you? What's happening? What do you want to switch? What do you not want to use? I had one friend that says, you know, I don't feel that the 49 um, patch, the light wave 49 patch is doing anything for me. But then when she got on to the Y age and she started to use it, she says, oh my gosh, my digestion is feeling better. Oh, great. So it was a dancing with what fits good, you know. Mm -hmm. But predominantly, most of my friends, family, clients, colleagues have been using the 39 consistently mm -hmm. as a lie. And it's, it's, um, it's just been a really, um, I want to say, a very um, reassuring uh, and, and not only physically, mentally, emotionally reassuring um, to me that I am doing what is optimally in my best interest to keep the ascension process for our planet going. So I'm looking at it purely from a metaphysical perspective, right. uh, but trying to incorporate everything else. So well, um, you said that you're what the patch the X39 is the patch you're predominantly wearing. Predominantly wearing the X39. And that patch is it's enhancing your, your deeper meditation? Is that what you're saying? It's bringing you deeper meditation? I'm feeling more comfortable. I'm feeling more focused in my meditation. And it has been since I started to use the patch. So That's that has awesome. enhanced, um, you know, my meditative state. And, and just overall, a feeling, um, a general feeling of better health, you know, um, respectfully, uh, um, I use a lot of uh, um, supplements. I use a lot of, I'm using diet or uh, liquid um, right. you know, shakes and eating a lot of berries and mangoes and, you know, cherries and the, all of the above, just going more into fruit. And, and the thing is that I'm not a vegan or a vegetarian because um, actually uh, my favorite uh, meat or what you would consider meat is lamb. I like lamb. So I would have lamb once in a while um, and it feels good, but it's not something that I do on a regular basis. So um, not being a vegan or a vegetarian, but yet still lifestyle would dominate that 
you know, more of the days I will have more of a, a vegan vegetarian meal than I would have a meat meal. So yeah. that also, yeah. I think, has helped with using the life weight patches as well. You yeah. Know? And, um, you will you find, know. I find also that my diet is being, tell, my body's telling me that's enough. You don't need to eat as much. Or that that extra three bites of whatever you just ate was not, you're not happy with that. <laughs> you know? Well, the, the thing is that I think that for me, like you, Swami, um, my intake has shrunk. Mm -hmm. What I could have normally had a, as a meal, uh, I'm consuming less. And, you know, I want to say, okay, it's part of that. I, I, I can say a tribute to the life weight patches. Um, I'm just feeling more contented. Right, and uh, right. drinking a lot more water. I love sparkling water, which is my favorite type of water. So I get uh, alkaline sparkling water. But um, drinking a lot more water. I'm not a juice drinker per se. So I'm more of a water drinker. And I will have different variations of water during the course of the day. You know, I uh, yeah. have it readily available. And also the different types of, of, of meals that are prepared. Now, as Swami um, had mentioned, I come originally from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. So I use, um, I make a lot of my indigenous foods. So which is predominantly a lot of curries. And um, of course, also the mixture that comes with Trinidad is not only East Indian food which is curries but also we have foods coming from a host of different parts of the world because um the island of trinidad is extremely cosmopolitan in fact it is one of the most cosmopolitan islands in this world that i know of so we have foods coming from all over so it's a preparation of foods that uh come from different countries that trinidadians have sort of and made it their own. So I cook a lot of Trinidadian, West Indian foods that mm. are based on, you know, a lot of other different cultures coming in. That I think also has helped with the life wave um, because, <laughs> because um, I feel that having it, there is a, it, it introduces a different energy into how all of these meals are absorbed into the body. So yeah. the absorption is different. The digestion is different. You know, um, as, as my friend Karen said, um, her digestion has improved since she's been on the um, uh, life wave patches. So it, it, it's very, um, it's exciting to see how it has actually spread the gamut. And, you know, everybody has had a different uh, effect coming in for them. From right, using right. the patches, you know. Yeah, so, um, thank you for that. That's yeah. that's really good. So you 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 explain to us what you're experiencing as well as the people who you've shared patches with. So that's a lot of testimony, right? There. That's really great. Doctor Pat, you have any questions for Karen? No, I don't. Well, she was talking, thinking myself. I've I've noticed that I've lost weight. Taking, using the patch at night, and I haven't tried. Yeah, uh, which is which is wonderful. Uh, and I, I keep thinking that <clears throat> the old Africans that goes, "Physician, heal thyself." Well, with the patches, you're actually healing yourself. Yeah, you're not taking anything from the outside into your body. You're reflecting back your own energy back into your body that improves your immune system, produces stem cells, which I said a long time ago, I said you buy 20 stem cells. So hopefully, I'll be able to develop them stem cells. And of course, the repair is over. Get that feedback. Sorry. It, it repairs all the damaged tissues in the body. In the, the sick tissues, which is a wonderful thing, and also helps to remove wrinkles and and aging skin, dry skin, which is a wonderful thing. But I like the idea that you're really not taking anything 
extraneous into your body. And you, you're healing yourself, which is a major advantage. Right. And it does work. It, it, it sounds ridiculous when you say, well, we're going to send your energy back to your body and it's going to heal you. It makes no sense. But it really does work. There is a science to this. Is scientifically backed. Yeah. So, so to, to to sort of give a little bit of the science, uh, there there are over a hundred research studies on the patches. Many of them are double blind studies, which mean that people don't even know the people who are administering the patches and the placebo patches. They don't even know who's getting what. So, if you say, "Oh, that the, those patches, there's nothing there, and it's just." Um, Psychosomatic, the double blind study proves that it's not psychosomatic because nobody knows which is which. And clearly the people who have the patches to a to a, mar a high per percentage, what they call this margin of error, very minimal margin of error means it can't be mindset. It can't be that way. So there's the research is there. The, and the, the science is is comes from two cutting edge sciences, light therapy, phototherapy, which is if you go to the PubMed NIH government medical research website and type in phototherapy, light therapy, there's a lot, a lot of research validating how we bypass all the other systems in our body to heal. And the other cutting edge, which is the most cutting edge now, is the stem cell. And what happens is, you know, we have heat. If you sit down, you get up and you sit down in a minute, the chair is still hot, right? The body is emanating heat. And heat is just another name for uh, low-level infrared light that our body emits. Like the sun radiates light, our bodies. And if you have the infrared cameras, the heat thermal thermography, you see, you could see where there's inflammation, where there's not inflammation. And they've done research with people on inflammation. They put a patch on, and in less than a minute, you see the, the inflammation is diminishing right on the infrared cameras. So what happens is our body's light, as it's emanating, we take this patch, and I'll show you a patch because I have one on right now. Here you go. This is the X39 that we talked about. And I'll put it back on because I want to keep feeling good. The patch, think of it, there's nothing inside the patch. There's no drug, there's no herb. Nothing is in that that goes into our body. It's just some sugar crystalline, an amino acid, a little water, just to create a structure, a crystalline a lattice. Now, it's that patented lattice that the creator, Dr. David Schmidt, uh, or he's not a doctor, but he's an inventor, David Schmidt in, invented. He prayed to God to help people. And he got, he, after 10 years of research, he figured this out. Think of it as a mirror, or that little band aid is a mirror. So, as the infrared light is escaping the body and hits the patch, it bounces off it and is attracted to what's called our copper peptide, GHK, GHKCU, I think it is. Copper, yes, CU. GHK. CU. CU. Copper. Right, copper, GHK. And again, if you go to PubMed, you will see tons of research that shows copper peptides are huge in age reversal. So in addition to our research, the LifeWave research, there's years and years of research on copper peptide and light therapies. And, there, and there's nothing else like it. It's patented. No one else has this information. So it's really cutting edge and it is nothing goes in the body. So there's no side effects. There are some people that we haven't tested in research yet. They haven't tested. If you're, you're pregnant or nursing, you definitely want to talk to your uh, doctors to see if it's okay. If you're, if you've had uh, organ transplants, you do not, just to be safe, you don't want to wear the patch. And if you are undergoing chemo, we haven't they haven't tested that yet. 
So you would definitely talk to your doctor before you do the patches. Then otherwise, well, talk to your, your healthcare practitioners, but there's been no research finding any other adverse effects of the patches other than what what might, well, not that they found adverse effects, but they never studied for them. So that is pretty much the science. And if you have questions, you can contact any of us. We are all distributing. We are brand distributors. We distribute this. Kyrene is on California. Dr. Conti and I are on the East Coast. And you can reach out to any of us that you feel you'd like to talk to about this. And any questions? Let's see, nobody has typed in any questions. Kyrene, do you have any questions or, or final comments? Uh, no, I, I don't have any questions. Uh, everything has been very, very um, detailed, um, explained, and very succinct in what we need to look for. And I always take uh, what all what's happening with us to a metaphysical level. So I want to say again, like uh, Dr. Conti said, that um, physician heal thyself. And when we use the life wave patches, all of them, any of them, basically starting with the, th the X39, you feel a sense of um, knowingness inside, which happens to me. And I think it has happened to friends and uh, families, clients, colleagues, that uh, it is enhancing and give, taking you to another level of uh, opening the door for your ascension process, as I said earlier. So I feel very, very confident and comfortable uh, in producing it to everyone and saying it is taking uh, all of us on a journey of exploration into who and what we truly are. So it is the discovery of self and it enhances that because I feel when we're distracted by ailments in the body, when we're distracted, not only emotionally, physically, um, you know, sometimes even spiritually distracted, and a lot of people financially distracted, then they are not optimally using what they have to go to the next level. Uh, so, and this will help the patches, the life wave patches, will help you get more balance. So you approach all levels of any challenges in your life from a different perspective because you feel more grounded, you feel more balanced, and you are able to open into what if possibilities that you would not have been in a worried state of mind. So it's freeing the mind, the energy, and you are now feeling more comfortable and confident in yourself that life is an, an exciting journey. And I can be part of that journey and not looking for an immediate destination. Yeah. So it's yeah. it really good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Right. Wonderful. Thank you. thank you so much, Dr. Conti. You, both you men are so amazing. And I'm so delighted and honored to be in your company, to know you, to experience the energy of your wisdom and to share it with uh, our community, with our world. And uh, I thank you so very much for inviting me on, for giving um, the opportunity to expose who and what life wave uh, patches can and will do if you give the opportunity. It's exploring. It's like, uh, you know, Star Trek, exploring the unknown. So it's walking into the next phase of exploration that has been available, but as we become conscious of what it is on different levels. Everybody comes into consciousness at different times and phases, depending on their self-awareness and awakening periods. So it's been explosive for some people and others are, oh my gosh, where was that all my life? Until they got to that point. So it's really exciting. And um, let's continue to fly together on this extremely wonderful cosmic journey well it's been a delight and an honor to have you on here as well thank you for sharing your time with us 
Uh, Dr. Conti, any last uh, words or anything you'd like to say? We have about seven minutes. Well, I just want to thank uh, Doreen for all her comments, a wonderful comments, and her enthusiasm. It's wonderful people that are so enthusiastic. And also, with her, uh, her previous work that she's been doing, which is wonderful, uh, we get into the spirituality, <laughs> Swami and myself, some others, uh, we'd love to have you involved with that as well in the near future. There's a lot. We're not only mind and body. We're spiritual people. As the Lord said, we are not physical beings having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual beings having a physical experience. So Absolutely. appreciate everything. You said. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. And continue doing what you're doing. Well, I see, um, just as a comment, I see the, the Dr. Pat, I see your skin looks uh, younger. You look thinner. <laughs> you know, they say, oh, just another piece of science, for every six weeks that you wear the X39, the, the research found that your heart goes gets younger by eight weeks. And for every six months you wear the patch, your heart gets younger by eight uh, eight months. So, well, well, it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> wonderful thing. So, I'm going out and buy myself some new diapers <laughs> and, <laughs> and a little baby carriage. <laughs> let's, hope you don't, let's hope you don't need those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, th thanks again, everybody, and we'll be back. Well, we will be broadcasting live on Wednesdays, usually at one Eastern, eleven Pacific, Pacific. Uh, but sometimes two, like today. Emergency call for the doctor. <laughs> He had to go rush out and put patches on people. <laughs> Patch everybody up. More ways All than... right. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Kareem. Thanks, Kareem. You're welcome. God bless. Have a wonderful time. Lots of love to Namaste. you all. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs>